And what yeah. would you like me to ask ChatGPT? Just ask it to evaluate. Is it right or wrong? I wouldn't put my face on ChatGPT's <laughs> answer. <laughs> well, I couldn't get an evaluation from from any of the, you know, authorities out there. All after, the universities. There we go. After evaluating the document, necessity of finding a universe, way better. Here's a breakdown. Interesting idea presented. The paper introduced a wave-based mathematical framework to argue the universe must be finite. It builds a on Lynchman geometry, tetrant shapes, and Howard Coma ideas largely associated with Terence Howard uses concepts like wave reflection, standing waves, and energy quantization to support those claims. Critical issue, scientific inconsistencies, core mathematical flaw, one times one equals two. This claim contradicts fundamental arithmetic and is not accepted in any legitimate mathematical system. Multiplication is uh, defined such as one times one equals one. Redefining this without rigorously peer-reviewed mathematical framework makes the rest of the paper logic untenable. Two, unverified concept terms like Howard Coma, uh, Tetran shapes, Lynchman geometry are not recognized in mainstream mathematical or physics. These concepts do not appear in peer-reviewed journals. Misapplication of uh, physical laws. The paper refers to wave mechanics, uh, conservation of energy, and quantum equations, but applies them in non-standard or speculative ways. For example, replacing Planck's content with Howard's coma constant is unsubstantiated and lacks empirical vi validation. And last but not least, citation issues. The reference include real scientists Einstein, Planck, alongside fictional or pseudoscientific collaborators Howard Seeley, Yi, 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 at all. Yeah, at all. There's no known peer-reviewed body of work by these authors. Verdict, not specific, not scientifically valid. That's what they would say. Now, if you put in, that's why the stuff that I sent you, I wanted to send, Put you have to put in the curvilinear thing into AI so it has the full, so it has the full basis in which to, to evaluate it. Um, because one of the things that the, the computers or the AI has been lacking. Its its foundation is all based off of the Cartesian space, off the one times one equaling one, off of off of a redundancy inside of a system instead of matching it to a universal um, conform system. So if you add in to that, um, let me see, Doctor, you question for you. Do do you uh, from you know? working with NASA, the government, how often do you guys use, whether it's for papers, credibility, things that you question, how often do you guys use Grok or OpenAI ChatGPT? We are not allowed. You're not allowed? Uh, I believe that in, uh, you use reliability in the uh, you know, integrity of them. Use, use this uh, third, you know, use this commercial uh, software. Uh, that's yeah, not right. really vested, uh, you know, is the accuracy. And uh, so uh, I, I believe we have to write exactly, use our own research. Wow. Research. So, 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 acad so academia, scientists, you know, uh, uh, the establishment side, you guys don't touch open AI. And, uh, oh, uh, let, let me rephrase please. this one. Not In open AI. They have their own yeah. AI. Initially, we are not even allowed to install chat GPT on our government computer. Really? Yes, but however, why though? Why? Why? What's the reasoning? Is it because they want you to do the work of what it's doing, or uh, because ChatGPT is based on the majority uh, opinion? It's not really give you scientific results. It's only based on somebody's results mm. cited. It does not create you can it, so far. It does not create anything new. Uh, you know, in in terms of solving the mystery in physics, it cannot really. Do that. Can you ask him to please upload all of the papers that I sent to you into into the AI so it'll have more than just that one paper? Rob, could you do that? I can too? do that. It only allows you to upload 10 at a time. That's the biggest problem. So Yeah, it's, it's only like it's 10. How many we got there? Like 10 that we gave you? I think you're more than 10. Yeah, I'm, I'm at about 21 different documents. Oh, um that's fine. Just do 10 out of time okay. twice. Uh, just let me finish yeah, the please, thoughts. Please. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, we, after uh, after a year or two, and then we do have a new, uh, you know, uh, lead tech, tech, technologist, you know, do mention about it, give us a training on use AI. 
to write to 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 improve the writing. So I believe now, uh, so we do allow to use casually, but not in 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 science, scientific writing or something. I, I believe it still has restrictions. Amen. I've been very interesting. Yeah, very interesting all of that. the stuff that we've been doing. The reason that we were forced to go to the AI route was um, like. Like I said, I brought all of the wave conjugations. I brought the, mat- the actual geometry to people like Eric Weinstein, and they did nothing with it. Instead of evaluating it, I thought he would share it among his friends and talk about it. No, they just set it there, even though it was four grand super symmetrical systems. L- let me ask a question from you, uh, Dr. Yu. When, because the argument was made that peer review, you're not a peer to review it. Like you're not a qualified peer to review is that, an, is that how it's seen in your world, where a peer review is another person that's a qualified doctor, you know, schooling, engineer, they've done the right thing to look there? That's, in, that's the common practice in, in established physics community. But I believe this is a gatekeeper yeah. to silence, to squash, to suppress. Really? Different opinion, yes. And this is a very convenient a tool, say, how many peer review you have, how many sightings you have. If you do not, they, they hard, hard, very hardly even get you to, to go through the publication. If you cannot be publicated, right? Publish. So how can you get a sighted, yeah. get a peer reviewed, right? The only peer review, you submit the paper, they, submit, they send it to those, what is about several review board members. You know what they have? If you disagree with their fundamentally concept, you said entire quantum mechanics is in, not true, and even relativity is hypothetical. Is uh, you know, of course you you, you were you were not get daylight. No, from their review. But they want to keep the, their entire livelihood is based upon maintaining their current status quo. And they don't want to change that. Like he said, you get your PhDs based upon repeating what they've taught you before, not by challenging what's been in existence, but by, by confirming what's in existence. So they don't want to grow. They want to maintain the status quo. And in order for us to, to grow, we have to keep challenging the clothes we're in, the bed that we fit in, the, the physical shape we're in. We've got to keep pushing the boundaries, and they've taken that away because they've got profit margins associated with it, and they won't do the reviewing. Do you that, think that's what's tied to it, Doctor? Do you agree with them that it's because of a uh, – is it just the same old, same old, you know, this is how we always do it, you're an outsider, we don't want to give you the credibility, you're not one of us? Is that what, what do you think it is? Uh, perception is – but I, I have to give a credit – there's a many of non-conventional theory does have a lot of flaws, ob- ob- uh, ob- very obvious mistake or typos or flaws, very easily to be picked on. So, so in the in that point, I believe we need to have a similar gatekeeper, similar standards, right? Mm-hmm. But not constrict the uh, called the new ideas. So. Um, I, I wanted to m- make a further point. It's very important in the physics community. If a quantum model is not correct, right, we throw out. So how can we resolve the fun, fun, the four fundamental forces in quantum mechanics? The weak force is off. The interpretation, okay. the strong you, you force think. is off. And? The electromagnetism and gravity. Gravity they could have gotten rid of a long time ago. The gravity issue sits out there and the electromagnetism that they've been trying to bond forever instead of recognizing that they're already one system. That, but their approach is completely off with it. They see magnets. They don't even see magnetism properly. They don't see it as this expanding centrifugal force. And they don't see electricity as this contracting um, centripetal force. They, see, they don't see the motion of it. But I cut you yes. off. I shouldn't have done that. Very good. You know... I wanted to make sure people understand that without quantum mechanics, we only need one single fundamental force, which is motion. Everything comes down oh, to motion. We are, we are talking about the force right now, uh, the direct the force in the interaction, magnetic force. So now people are often talking about the electromagnetic force. So. So people confuse about the electrical and the magnetism. 
I remember you mentioned on your,、uh, maybe on your show or something,、uh, electro and the magnet. What is your contrast between the, that? Electricity is always spinning northeast, seeking a higher pressure condition, trying to spinning to the right, trying to get to the apex and the center of something, centripetally spinning. Then, as it gets to the center, it gets pushed out by another electrical. Part of the wave, and once it gets to the edge of the boundary and no longer has the potential of being trapped in there, now it gets devitalized. And as a result of being devitalized, it's no longer able to spin northeast anymore. Now it's spinning southwest because it's taking on, putting on these things. It becomes magnetism, and it's spinning southwesterly, centrifugally. Expanding outward, it's expanding in sixes, whereas before it was contracting in three sets of fives, in three fifths. The contraction happens here. Electricity contracts, magnetism expands. It's the radiation compared to the so-called gravitative force. That's how I see it. Let me give you my version.、Um, before、uh, James Clerk Maxwell, they treated electri- electricity. And the magnetism completely separate thing, and the, what James Clerk Maxwell did is unify them,、mm-hmm. establish con- con- connection. So it defined in you know, one of his equation defined electrical field、uh, time varying of magnetic field. Let me explain in my own discovery, please. So so called electrical static electrical field. This is a secret in my theory,、uh, called the Yuan theory of everything. Static electrical field is exactly magnetic field, and dynamic electrical field. That means what time varying of magnetic field is when you have a magnet. Magnet has a elect- elect-、uh, magnetic field, right? Magnet in motion. That's what is called time varying. Whenever you have a moving magnetic field. That's called the electric field. That's generally the electricity. And the thing with our universe is, they measure things as if it's as if it's dead, but everything is in motion. Everything is alive and in motion. There is never anything that's still. And we keep measuring things as if they are dead and still and going to remain in this set in this set place. When things are not just stuck here, they are always in motion, and the motion is always spherical. The motion is never in a straight line; it's always spherical. And if they make that one adjustment and start measuring things based upon the spherical or or spiral nature. Of everything, then all of their measurements would equal up. Then they would have balance in their energy systems. But because they're using straight lines, I use this point again, like with a computer chip. Ninety per all of the you have these ninety degree angles with the computer chip、It、keeps turning. You know, going at the speed of light or just under the speed of light, hit this ninety degree wall. It has to stop. Then build up its energy and go again. Well, that's heat that's built up in each one of these 90 degree turns. Each time that heat builds up, what does it do? It destroys the it destroys the electrical signal because electricity is balanced off by magnetism. Magnetism creates heat. The heat is those points. Now the signal breaks down. So they keep having to cool the system in comparison to how energy really moves in a circle. Now there's no interference. Being built up now, the chip works a lot smoother. But the way they're doing everything, it has this entropy, this unnecessary resistance because of their ideas on straight lines. Hi everyone, my name is Terence Howard. I'm an actor,、um, but in the field of science also. So if you would like to connect with me, you can connect with me on Minect.、Um, the QR code is down below, and let's have a great conversation. If you enjoy this video, you want to watch more videos like this, click here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click here.